Statistics govern our lives. The decisions, ideas, and objects that form our world at some level all rely on quantifying aspects of the natural world. We measure life. Of all the units of measurement we use, two peculiar numerical gauges curiously quantify our own mortality. A micromort is a one in a million chance that you will die in doing a particular activity, derived from micro and mortality. This unit of risk is used to measure the riskiness of various day-to-day -day activities. In the United States, your risk of driving 250 miles in a car is one micromort. Riding a motorcycle for 25 miles is four micromorts. This means you have four chances in a million of being killed by operating a motorcycle for 25 miles. Interestingly, as Risky is undergoing general anesthesia for surgery in the United States, an event that is five micromorts. Even seemingly healthy activities can have higher micromorts associated with them. Running a marathon, for example, is seven micromorts. Even preparing for a marathon itself requires hundreds of miles of training runs, each of which has its own risks. Complementing the micromort is a second numerical measure of activities that tend to shorten one's lifespan. Known as the microlife, this unit of measure attempts to quantify actions that would statistically shorten your life by a half hour. If we divide roughly 57 years of lifespan by 1 million, a microlife is one of those million parts, each lasting 30 minutes. One of the most common activities that demonstrate the microlife unit is smoking. Statistically, studies have found that one cigarette smoked shortens your lifespan by 15 minutes. So two cigarettes smoked shortens your lifespan by half an hour or one micro life. An average smoker that consumes two packs of cigarettes a day or 40 cigarettes expends 20 micro lives. But does this mean a very early death? Well, not exactly. Both the micro mort and micro life are statistical measures of risk. They don't allow an exact prediction of one's death. There will always be heavy smokers who outlive people who never smoke, but the odds are in favor of non-smokers unless they are in hazardous occupations. Besides smoking, there are other common risky activities that ordinary adults do. Eating a hamburger, for example, is rated at one microlife due to it increasing the likelihood of heart disease. The number of micro lives is even higher for an 8 ounce sirloin steak, reaching as high as 5 micro lives. A span of watching television or browsing your phone for 2 hours is rated at 1 micro life. Conversely, the first 20 minutes of moderate exercise per day gives us back 2 micro lives, in effect extending your life by an hour. Even our bodies carry a micro life value. Each extra inch of waistline amounts to one micro life each day. So if you are carrying three extra inches around your waistline, that's three micro lives per day or 10 and a half hours of reduced lifespan a week. One of the riskiest events all humans endure is childbirth for both baby and mother. In 2015, there were 4 million live births in the United States. Of these, there are 70 stillbirths daily in the US one for every 160 live births. Of the 11,000 babies born each day, 35 die in the first week, another 9 before a month passes, and another 22 by one year. This amounts to 6,100 micromorts. In the United States in 2015, there were over 2,000 cases of sudden infant death syndrome, a risk quantified at around 500 micromorts. The incidence of early infant death is higher for boys than girls, and higher for mothers under 20. It is twice as high for black mothers than white mothers. The global average is that 35 of 1,000 babies born die in the first year, which corresponds to 35,000 micromorts. The highest infant mortality rate is in Sierra Leone at 117 deaths per 1,000 births. Below the US rate of 6 deaths per 1,000 births, there are 4 deaths per 1,000 births in Britain and Cuba, and at the bottom are Finland and Singapore at 2 deaths per 1,000 births. 
Motherhood is also hazardous. In 2015, 287,000 women died after giving birth. 1 in 480, corresponding to 2,100 micromorts or a fatality rate of 0.2%. In war-torn South Sudan, the mortality rate is 10 times higher. In the developing world, it is not unusual for women to have 5 or more children, increasing the likelihood that she will die during or after childbirth. 2015 statistics for mothers giving birth are Sweden with 45 micromorts, Britain with 100 micromorts, the US at 200 micromorts, and Chad at over 11,000 micromorts.